what's going on guys it's hi and my super gets parked outside a lot now that it's summertime it just gets beat down with sunlight i have a front windshield sunshade and i protect the entire interior with various products but no doubt the interior is taking some damage it may look fine now but down the road there will likely be some fading and possibly other damage because of this i finally decided to tint my side windows and rear windshield to do this, I headed to California Tent of Everett, Washington. This shop works with a bunch of super high-end cars, so I was comfortable with them working on my car. Another reason why I went with California Tent is that they are authorized installers of Expel window films. Expel is widely known in the window film industry and is among the best. They offer four different types of window film, the Prime CS, Prime HP, Prime XR, and Prime XR+. Now, this is not an informational or advertisement video for Expel, so I'll leave some links down in the description below where you can find some more information about the various films. For the sake of time, I'm just going to categorize the films as standard and ceramic. The standard films reject 99.9% .9 of ultraviolet rays. The ceramic films do this too while also rejecting infrared heat. The Prime XR film rejects up to 88% of infrared heat, while the Prime XR Plus rejects up to 98%. With each level of quality, the price increases, and in the case of the Prime XR Plus, the price jumps quite a bit. I don't want to give you any price quotes because this differs from shop to shop, so it's best to contact your tent shop for the most accurate pricing. For this project, I personally knew that I wanted to go with ceramic film for the heat rejection properties. I just didn't know if I wanted to pay for Prime XR Plus. But I figured that because the Supra is likely a forever car, or at least one that I'll own for a very long time, I might as well pay for the best up front and not have to deal with the possible headaches in the future. It definitely helps that with Expel Prime Films, you are getting a lifetime warranty that covers defects such as discoloration, fading, bubbling, peeling, cracking, and delamination. Realistically, anything short of abuse will be covered for the life of the vehicle. If you're unaware, the Super comes with some sort of tinted privacy glass from the factory. We tested it at California Tint and it's rated at 77%. This means that whatever tint that you decide to go with, it will be slightly darker. Expel offers Prime XR Plus in a few different degrees of tint. With all my cars, I have them tinted at 15%, and that's what I wanted for the Supra. But remember, the factory tinted glass makes any tint darker, so you have to go with a slightly lighter shade. In this case, I went with 20% tint and after installation, it sits exactly at 15% with the stock privacy glass. To me, 15% is a good compromise. It's pretty dark during the day and unless the interior is fully lit up by the sun, you still have to focus and really look in the car to make things out. At night, it's pretty much non-see-through and looks black from the outside but still very visible from the inside. I thought about going down to 5% for this car because the murdered out windows look really good but it also looks super illegal. Not to mention that 5% tint is really dark and hard to see through from the inside at night. So here is the final result. In my opinion, the Super looks so much better with the tint. This is something that I should have gotten done from the beginning, but better late than never. The interior will be protected moving forward for years to come. Now if you're going to get your Supra's windows tinted, there are a few things that I would suggest. First is to get the installer to apply the tint all the way up to the windows edges. Some installers like to leave a small gap of untinted space and it always looks really tacky. Second, remove the third brake light and tint the entire rear windshield. Luckily Ryan, the owner of California Tint, also owns a Supra and reminded me of this. If you don't tint under the third brake light, you'll have a small section of clear glass that will really stand out.
If you're interested in getting something similar done for your vehicle and you're in the Western Washington area, definitely give California Tint a try. They did an amazing job and have really competitive prices even compared to some other shops that I talked to that uses inferior window films. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it around, comment down below with any thoughts or questions that you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.